waters. Whew, looking for a cure for COVID. So far, I'm not sure. So far, I'm not sure if it's even a good idea. I've come about two miles. I'm onto the big lake. And I'm going to a brook trout lake. The plan is, uh, I don't know, just try to not go too hard. Try to get uh, my camp set up out of the wind early enough and just to enjoy a night of camping. I'll probably still have another mile or so to go to get to that uh, portage for the brook trout lake. The only real difficulty I really see in the whole proposition is finding that portage. The goal is to race in here and hit that brook trout lake, get my five fish, get some nice fish, and get back. All right, home for the night. Pretty good little spot, right on the way to where I need to be. The wind's died down and it's a really beautiful night. And I'm feeling pretty good. That last leg uh, boosted my spirits a little bit and I feel a little bit better. What I'm gonna do is just take my time, get my stuff set up. I might tuck back out of the wind a little bit so I can cook, I'll probably do that. I feel a little wind right here. Just relax, try to get through the night, get up early and get on with it. I'm really looking forward to getting up to that lake or at least doing some sort of fishing here. There's lake trout in this lake, there's whitefish in this lake. But I'm after the brook trout. So let's get her set up, get some food in me, try to get some rest, get up early and get after it. Beautiful night, it's a little crisp out. Uh, had a great day, I don't think I overdid it. I definitely uh, feel better after getting outside and getting some fresh air. I have two major chores. One, I have to cook myself something to eat. I have to go out and uh, drill a hole and make sure I have two Nalgene's full of water. Right before I go to bed, I'll boil two, two containers full of water, put them in my sleeping bag, and they'll stay warm all night. They won't really keep me, keep me warm, but my body temp will keep the water from freezing, so I'll have a a Nalgene to drink in the morning and a Nalgene to make coffee with. So that's camping tip number one. Uh, boil your water, make sure you have water. A couple other camping tips. You know, it's all about saving energy. And uh, fishing is not saving energy. So if you wanna get out and camp, you don't always have to fish. I do, especially going miles in on these remote brook trout lakes. I mean, they're fun to fish and their fish are great in there and there's chance for some real trophies and they're just super sporty fish and they taste amazing but you don't have to do it you can go a mile in and fish for lake trout you can uh, not fish at all half the gear I have is probably fishing related keep that in mind if you just want to get out and camp uh, if you leave the fishing stuff at home you're gonna have half the weight bring a partner uh, this would be simple if I had somebody with me. It's really not that hard right now, but it'd be just an absolute breeze. It's beautiful out. Probably another really important one is to, you know, just stay calm. Don't panic. You know, it's windy out there. I'm not feeling that great, but I kept it together and I usually do out here. That's the key in any kind of survival situation. Just uh, keep your head on your shoulders and take a deep breath and, you know, think about the fishing you're going to be doing. That's what I do. Morning number one. On my way to fish for some brook trout I'm a mile into my journey. I slept pretty good last night up to about three. Uh, I was cold when I got into my sleeping bag. Good thing I had those uh, uh, Nalgene's full of boiling water, that helped take the edge off. I got to sleep pretty quickly, and then like many times, my body turned into a bit of a furnace after uh, consuming all that food before I went to bed. But the rest of the night, I was actually pretty hot. 
overall feeling really good about everything camping was really pleasant um the night went quick and i'm having a good day so far so that's the status report we're looking for the uh portage okay i think i found the trail good thing i got some energy uh because it's going to take a bit it's not too far but it's a climb and there is really not much of a trail but i think i'm in, at least in the right vicinity uh so we're gonna i don't know bushwhack up to the brook trout lake and get fishing getting up here no doubt about it got my workout in but I was satisfied to, uh, to get to the top and very satisfied to finally get to this lake in the winter time it's got a reputation for having quality fish see if we can get our five well it looks like I got my work cut out for me today this is my third spot not even a fish I'll keep searching but uh, this could be an all day deal. I would imagine it's gonna zap all the energy I have. I'm really anxious to feel a brook trout on the line, especially a nice one. I have not caught a brook trout all year. That's amazing and it's March 1st. They're in here. Darn it. I've toured the whole lake. And I haven't marked a fish. The only really place I haven't tried is right off the portage. It looks like a good spot. I'm on a sharp break right in these trees. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. All right. What a beauty. 14, 15 incher. Finally! Alright, keeper number two. I hope I catch my fish soon, it's cold out here. It happens too fast for me to try to get an action shot. They just come storming in when they're uh, ready to go 15 inch cat category maybe slightly bigger about the same that's three and still cold we got to get off this mountain it's cold and i'm not gonna be home before dark anyway but that's four fish one short of a limit i'll take it those are nice fish would have been nice to get number five. It would have been nice to get something bigger, but uh, I'll take that any day. Especially when I thought I might get skunked out here. I have myself about a six mile journey back to the car. Get down this hill, get my skis on, get back to camp, break down camp, probably eat something, get some hot liquids in me. I guess I'm not in any hurry at this point. As long as I'm out of camp by, I don't know, before it's dark. So far this leg has uh, been A+. Plus. Haven't even thought about COVID, so the cure for COVID. Ski across a couple lakes and uh, climb a hill and catch a few fish. Been a great, uh, great journey so far. And the adventure continues.
Okay, we made it back to camp. Turns out to be a beautiful day. It's crisp, but uh, all in all, what a great day. God, I had fun. Definitely challenged myself, and uh, the adventure's not over. You know, staying warm last night was really no, no problem for me, but I had a few precautions going. Uh, I always stuff all of my down stuff in the sleeping bag. You can pat some cold spots if you feel it. And I have a sleeping bag liner weigh, weighs next to nothing and it packs down like next to nothing and it uh, a sleeping bag liner could help quite a bit. Well, I'd say maybe a good five degrees worth. You can also bring another sleeping bag. You can also hang a candle in there. Those little candle lanterns uh, give you a little extra heat too. So those are a few tricks of the trade. A little snow around the tent as much as you can insulate there. And those hot water bottles. And a good uh, meal before you go to bed. And Generally you're cooking after that. Right now, uh, I need to regroup a little bit after my fishing expedition. I need to get my strength back, so I'm going to boil a pouch of uh, lentils and probably make a coffee, just because I feel like a coffee. And make sure that I have a Nalgene of boiled water before I leave. Just get a little nourishment in me, some hot liquids, and uh, pack smart, take my time. Enjoy the rest of this day. Probably be skiing a couple hours in the dark tonight. That's all right. It's just smart to take your time. Tip number five. cold and it's getting late a plus great fishing excellent camping satisfied my craving I'm ready to get home <laughs>